amazing cast as part of Game of Silence. It's on NBC. You guys, the, the funniest thing about it is I was realizing that all of you have been on Justified before. Yes. Oh, yeah. Isn't yes. that crazy that now you get to be on a show again together? Yes. It was fake. It's very justifiable and, and that we're all here. That's great. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's right. what, what are, what's going to be different about this show than other shows that have been on NBC before? Well, I would say that we deal with some pretty dark subject matter. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's a character-driven show. Right. There's no superheroes. There's no, right. you know, zombies. It's really about human beings dealing with um, their past, dealing with trauma, dealing with things in their relationships. And so um, I think that's what gives it a lot of legs to the show, is, is it's as deep as the characters are. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, I know before you played a cop, and you get to do that. You do it so well, by the way. Thank you. So Thank in, you. in this role, what are we going to find different with your character? Well, I think you're going to find that Liz is dealing with her integrity, dealing with the integrity of, of what being a cop means based on the fact that she's got certain choices that she has to make to take care of her family. Right. Um, but she's smart, she's strong, she's formidable, she's um, driven, um, she's determined, she's compromised. Um, and she's complex. So I think that, so, you know, those are the things that I think everybody, you know, that, that, that everybody who's an actor wants to play. Mm -hmm. Right. So you have a dream job, basically. I have a dream. <laughs> I am living the dream. We right all now. have a dream Absolutely. job. Yes, you do. Yeah. Uh, Demetrius, are you a good guy or a bad guy in I'm this a, show? Uh, I guess, you know, can't hide from the truth for so long. I'm a bad guy with good intentions. Okay. Essentially. <laughs> Not me, but Terry Bosch, who's the character I play. Uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool for the audience because he's a... Uh, He's a guy who was very sophisticated and intelligent, but um, he, at a very early age, had to decide whether or not he would be a predator or a prey. Right. You know, uh, he had to decide which of those wolves he would feed, the good one or the bad one. You know, and because of circumstances, he had to feed the bad one. But you know, he's he's dimensional in that. You know, he has a daughter. He 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 fights fervor. You know, with fervor for her education and her extracurriculars. Like he's a. Uh, He's three. He's three-dimensional, and that's what I, I love about playing him is that he's not. Um, he's not just a bad guy for bad reasons. He's. He, he'll have a few people scratching their heads, like, "Yo, would I do this? Would I do that in this situation?" So it'll be fun. And so, what do you guys hope people take away from your characters on this show? I hope they take away nothing from my character on this show. <laughs> we have enough people like me in the world. Okay. Yeah. You know, I think. I had said it earlier, but you know, I think that, that abuse and trauma doesn't happen in a vacuum. That 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 it, even though it might lay dormant for a while, it will always show it, rear its head. It will always show its face. Um, and I think my character helps to bring that out. I think I think that's kind of what she does. As a detective, she minds, and she's trying to get to the truth, and she's also trying to get to her truth. And I think you'll find that, and you'll find, and I think they'll enjoy the complexity of that. Now, if you could pick someone else's character to play, who would it be? Mm, that's such a juicy question. Uh, I would actually like, I really like uh, Michael's character, Raymond James, the, the proverbial hurricane of the, of the group. Okay. The unpredictable, you know, swashbuckling, you know, <laughs> friend that you love to have around because he's a blast, but you're also always wary that he's around because he, he can make things go boom, you know. So that's a fun character. I like make Michael's character. Okay. He plays guilt. Any other I gotta stick with I gotta stick with Liz. I mean, you know, I, I think that I've only scratched the surface of her, and I'm looking forward to season two. Wink, wink. Yes. So that you know, so that I can get deeper, deeper and deeper into her. Yeah. I would want to be one of the young boys because I'm 60 years old today, and <laughs> I'd like to be like 11 or 12 again. <laughs> Why not? Start over. Right. Why exactly. Not? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Make thank sure you guys watch Game of Silence on NBC. Thank you. Thank you.